Hello everyone and welcome back to my transgalactic trek in Elite Dangerous and we've got a lot to talk about because between the previous episode and this one they came out with uh, version 1.1 and well I, I think they've updated to version 1.1 but at the very least we've gotten information about version 1.1 I haven't checked which version I actually start out in, in this uh, in this but uh, we need to get set up for version 1.1 anyway because they're going to start crediting people with discoveries of new systems. And so uh, my in-game name is Fletcher Wilson, which is one of my characters in my novels. And so uh, that name will get the credit for discovering these new systems if I have a, dis a detailed surface scanner as well as my discovery scanner. So I need both things and I don't have both things, which means I need to jet back over to uh, populated space so that I can pick up a detailed surface scanner because I'm lacking that. I also right now need to do some fuel scooping it looks like. Uh, I've already plotted a journey back and uh, well let us uh, actually target our star here so that I can do some fuel scooping. Honestly something feels different about the game right now. I haven't put my finger on it yet. Uh, but anyway, I plotted back to Kakandi. Which was tricky because uh, even though I remember the system name and all, let me just show you. Uh, so I got my plot back. Um, for some reason, I can't click and enter anything in this field. Can somebody explain to me why that is? I, I, it must be something I'm missing about uh, about the update. So uh, maybe that is disabled unless you have some sort of system on board. Anyway, so I just had to uh, scroll through the map to find Kakandi, which was a pain, but I managed it. And so now we're plotted for that system, which I know had a station that... I don't know if it had a detailed surface scanner, but at least it had a station where I could sell my discoveries, and then we can start from there. So... Uh, the thing is, uh, once I finish fuel scooping here, we'll see how quickly I can get back to civilized space. And I'll uh, give you an actual uh, hours and minutes on that. I've got a... Okay. So I'll time myself to see how long... It, it'll, it'll be like about 700 light years. Oop. Probably not a good idea to aim for this little uh, projection here in retrospect. Warning. Yeah, probably should have avoided the whole Warning. coronal. Oh, 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 let's go this way. Whew, great time to be taking heat damage. At least I'll be making my way back to places where I can get repaired, but uh, that was dangerous. Didn't even get a uh, full amount of fuel. Let's not try that again. Oh. Why am I not able to see more than 16.8 light years away? I don't want to plot route to there. This is frustrating. Here I go out to Kakandi again. Well, it's it's got the star selected. I just can't select it from the menu. All right, that's good enough for me. All right, let's go. Drive so start the clock. One, engage. Okay, I'm not discovering anything. I'm just going to the next thing. Let's jet. I've got enough uh, fuel. It's no longer worthwhile to discover stuff if I'm not going to get credit for it. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, Let me do some fuel scooping here. Not aiming for a coronal mass injection ejection. Let's just do it very carefully this time. Oh, I guess 
while I'm here I could uh, explore this thing since I'm gonna be fuel scooping anyway. Uh, I don't want to lock destination though. Let me just make sure I can find the other destination if I scroll down. Well, it's got there right now. But it looks like there's so many stars available that if I unlock it, it's not gonna let me keep it. It's sort of weird, isn't it? We can give a pulse though. Oh, this thing's got a few things around it, but again, not hanging out, not hanging out. Again, it's been a fair amount of time since I've actually played this game between the previous episode and this one. So maybe I'm just a bit rusty for some reason. So why has this menu suddenly started limiting how many things I've got displayed here? And, complete. and why can't I search for systems in the galaxy map? Those are two things I'm wondering about. Well, two of many things. Let's move. Okay, next. I think there's more music, is there? I'm not sure about that, but I think there might be. Fuel scooping. Really rapid fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Completely unintentional and jump. Frameshift drive charging. By the way, jumping from system to system is taking a lot longer than usual. Just thought I should point that out. So that'll affect the... Sort of, I guess we're sort of doing a speed run here. Seeing how many light years I can cover per minute. Okay, this looks like a good start to refuel around. Let's see. Okay, I'm overheating and uh, they are applying a hot fix in about 10 minutes time. I could use a hot fix actually, honestly. A hot fix sounds like the thing I need. So, uh, well, 10 minutes time. We're about uh, 13 minutes into our travels, by the way. So it hasn't taken me very long to get to this point. And let's continue. Frameship drive charging. Yeah, I wonder if that hotfix has anything to do with not being able to search for systems. That it would be helpful if they fixed that if that's actually a glitch rather than something intentional. Okay, anyway, but uh, we are proceeding anyway. Okay. Well, you say you discovered one new astronomical ob object, but we haven't really discovered it. I think I should do some fuel scooping around here. It's not the best star to do it around. Just looks like K-type. I'll give it a go. Alright. Meanwhile, let's see where we are. So we're 16 minutes in, maybe 17 minutes. And uh, we've covered about 200 light years. We're down to 580... Let's say 587. So we've got about 400 light years to go, so uh, should make it within an hour. I mean, it'll depend on how long the server reset or whatever they do takes, the hotfix. Um, but I'll, I won't count that time. I'll only count the time that I'm actually able to fly. Looks like our next destination is not in the best location. 
that's uh, occulted by the sun. Okay. So as far as Discovery is concerned, we're sort of already behind in the race uh, in a lot of ways. Let me boost over in this direction first. Um, because uh, anybody who had discovered, it's retroactive, so if they had already uh, used their detailed service scanner and discovered a system and did the whole thing right, uh, they, they'll already get credit for that, I think. So I'm already a bit behind. Uh, other than that, there's also uh, apparently a wandering station of some sort. So that if you can uh, get on board that, you're going to be sort of brought to uh, different locations in the galaxy. It'll jump, the station actually jumps, so you can just dock with it and jump with it. And and you can sort of do your exploration like that instead of obviously doing it the way I'm doing it uh, with... Okay, so it's quick server restart and small client update. So those people going with that traveling station would be able to to uh, have all their supplies and everything. They wouldn't. I don't know if they necessarily get credit for discovery or stuff like that. And of course, it'd be a little bit weird. All those. I don't know how many people are going to be uh, going with that traveling station or whatever it is. Didn't read into the details too much since I'm not going to be doing it. But it's just a little bit more competition. Okay, I think we can do one more jump before refueling. Okay, so I'm going to hang out a little bit further away from here and uh, leave it here while the server does its thing. Well, we've done 25 minutes so far. I get a good look at where the sun is. That's the most dangerous thing around here. And in 25 minutes, I've gotten to like 250 light years towards the target. And we're still all plotted up. So uh, let me quit out while the server does its thing, and then I'll be back. Okay, so here we are again, and let me see if we're still targeting the same stuff. Doesn't look like it. Let's see. So they did a hot fix. Does that fix this? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? I mean, uh, I just found out that this was an issue, like you know, a little while ago, and within an hour they have a hotfix done. <laughs> I mean, that that's, uh, whatever you might say about these developers, uh, they are quick about fixing these things. Uh, of course, why it was a problem in the first place, I have no idea. But, no, I want fast routes, not economic routes. Uh, tip. So that's something. Alright, so uh, back on the road to Kakandi. And uh, that one issue is fixed, so I'm happy. But I think we need to grab some fuel here while we are here. Oh, heck, maybe we'll make this... Uh, let's see, what kind of a uh, sector is the next one? Are we talking about... Uh, uh, K-type star is okay to scoop from. All right. Let's just uh, jump and then we'll scoop from that. So, starting the clock again. Okay, let's do some fuel scooping. We definitely need to. Alright, that looks good. So, basically, uh, I took about 25 minutes to do a little over 250 light years. So that's about 10 light years a minute, right? So if we're talking about just getting to the galactic center, which is 50,000 light years, if I didn't do any exploring at all, go as fast as I could, we're talking about 
uh, 5,000 minutes, which is 80 hours or so, a little bit over 80 hours. And um, yeah, so that's an interesting point. But I do intend to do exploring. That's why we're going all the way back to pick up these scanners and uh, see what upgrades I can get. Possibly upgrade the ship as well, though. I, I must say, I do like this the look of this uh, this hauler rather than uh, the next step up, which is the Cobra. Um, it just looks better to me for some reason. But uh, maybe I'll change my mind, heck. And it's not like I'm going with the outside view. Maybe the interior of the Cobra is better. Could do with a sunroof, if you will. I don't know, though. I haven't been in a Cobra at all yet. So maybe it doesn't have a sunroof. Alright. So, unfortunately our target's on the other side of the thing. Oh, and just for reference, uh, for each episode, uh, the real time it takes is about an hour and a half. So, if we're talking about going full speed to the Galactic Center, what I'm really talking about is probably around 55 to 60 episodes. But again, I intend to explore, so that's just uh, lower bound on how many episodes it'll take. Up, 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 come on. Come on, game, come on. Oh, suddenly frame rates are really, really bad. Why? Ooh. That was weird. I haven't had a frame rate issue like that on entering a system. I don't think. Anything weird about this situation? No, nope, doesn't seem so. Ah, the, the next destination is a little bit close to the star again. Okay, moving right along. Okay, very bright, very bright. Uh, maybe we should do fuel scooping around you, since you seem to have plenty of plasma and all. Okay, fuel scooping is done, and once again, well, I guess we can go straight for that. Okay, don't hurt us, Heat. Don't hurt us. So basically right now I get about 120 light years to a tank of gas. I'm sure that can be improved upon if we get better hardware here. Okay. How far along are we right now, by the way? Ah, we're uh, past. Uh, we're into 370 to 380, so 375-ish we'll, uh, is our next destination, I think. We're not there yet. We're around 400-ish. Not bad. Okay, let's go. Frameship drive charging. Three, two, one, and Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do some fuel scooping here. I guess I could reduce, I mean, I could uh, go on to the next system and reduce the amount of time I take overall by by reducing how often I do fuel scooping but I don't think it make much, too much of a difference that would just increase the amount of time I take to scoop fuel I could optimize it by just fuel scooping at the best stars 
but uh, that might not be doable anyway. If you end up with a string of uh, K-type stars, it wouldn't matter. We got this big uptick here, but we're aiming for about 150-ish, so we still got about 225 light years. Okay, getting close to the end of fuel scooping here. Unfortunately, the the target star is directly on the other side of this sun. So we're gonna have to go around. Well, I just noticed one thing that I'm missing. You know how on the fuel, next to the fuel, it used to show like point something something per hour? Like uh, point two one per hour, point six four per hour? Uh, they've remo removed that. So it doesn't show that anymore. I guess that was just too confusing or inaccurate or something. I don't know. Don't know why they decided to remove it. Okay, this is probably a bad idea. Eek, 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 eek. Ooh, okay. Oh. No additional damage. I'm sure some hotshot pilots just, uh, they don't even stop at stars to fuel scoop. They just, uh, get the right speed and distance and, uh, punch it full steam to do their fuel scooping. I am not a hotshot pilot. Frameshift drive charging. Two, one, engage. Okay, definitely have fuel for the next jump. Okay. I'll, I'll jump one more time and I'll fuel scoop at the next star. Okay, so let's do some fuel scooping and we are now 49 minutes into this return to Kakandi. And that's 25 minutes before the break. Yeah, okay, well that's why we're fuel scooping, but it didn't, it didn't look drained to me. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, 25 minutes before the break and 24 after it, so uh, that's how long it's taken us to get this far. I'm still trying to make it back to Kandi within the hour, so uh, it's got about 11 minutes left. Okay, got the fuel scooping complete call, turning around. And on we go. Okay, looks like a K-type star, but we are moving on. Okay, six more minutes before my hour is up. Here we go. Not a bit on the hot side. Okay. Let's jet a bit so that we are not so hot this time. And how far along are we? Oh, just within spinning distance. One more jump and then it's Kakandi. So, alright. Here we go. Friendship drive charging. Three, two, one, and Okay, next up Kakandi, uh, let's, let's, oh heck, let's uh, just get over there and we'll fuel scoop there if necessary. Might even buy fuel for once. 
But no, probably fuel scoop anyway. Okay, here we go. Last jump. Alright, so... 57 minutes. Made, uh... More than 600 light years, I think. Wow, it's weird being in populated space again. I just heard something fly by. I'm a little bit worried that something's gonna try to interdict me. It's been a little bit of a while since I've had that particular experience. Anyway, while I'm waiting for this, let's uh, figure out which one of these stations I'm supposed to be going for. Okay, so you are... you have outfitting, Darbo Terminal. You don't, you don't. Okay, well that's uh, simple enough, just Darbo Terminal. Kakandi A, B, C, D. Yeah. So that's a planet that's orbiting all four stars. Love it. Okay, I think I'm satisfied with my fuel levels here. Let me not linger here. Let's head away a bit. That's quite all right. Darbo Terminal, here we come. So, finally a station after all this time. I'm eager to see exactly how much I have to repair. Of course, I did quite a bit of damage just at the beginning of this episode. But uh, maybe that'll give me a good sense of the buffer I need. So, visited 162 systems so far. Not much, when you think about it. I think I had already done a big chunk chunk of that before setting out. Okay, here we go. Darbo Terminal. Quite a complex system it's got er itself around. Lots of little moons. Okay, first safe disengage in a long time too. Okay, I can see the entrance, so let's just, uh, that is the entrance, isn't it? Okay, I already see landing pad 43, so that's not a problem. Oop, oop, oop. Did some more damage to myself. Good job. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Okay, so uh, repair all 245. Hold on, let me take a close look at repairs here. Ship integrity 88%, 1232. Hull 85%, that's what we saw outside. Uh, paint work 10 credits. Okay, so these are the two things. When it says repair out here, no, repair all two, 245 has nothing to do with what it shows under repairs here. Where does it get 245 from? Repair all. 159, 10 credits. Oh, it's, it's all these little tiny bits. 2, 3, 7, 2, 2, 2, 2. Okay. Uh, sure. Why not? So all those should have been repaired. And ship integrity, gonna cost us a bundle, but yeah. We don't need to worry about fuel, 
we're getting that in other ways. But let's see how much we can sell our cartography for. That's the important thing. Sell page. That means sell all of them. On this page. Oh, that was a good one, huh? We missed a few, it looks like. Oh, so it gives us a lot more information now here about what gave us what value, huh? Okay, well, uh, it's not like I have much of a choice. Sell so page. I hope there's more than one page. Wow, it's taking a long time to sell this page. This page seems to have about the same price as the previous page. Anything interesting here? Pipe stem system. Oh, well, this one had a big, I think, well, that's a 7,000 credit one. That's been a good star. We should tell me the star type, too. Wait a second. Let me go back to. No, no, no. Cancel, cancel. No, that's a planet. Maybe that was a habitable planet. Maybe that was the Earth like planet. I forget. Okay, well, uh, there's a next 20, so we can sell this page, yes. But I'm trying to get to 250,000 minimum to get that detailed surface scanner. Doesn't look like I'm going to have too much extra here. Well, oh, this isn't much. At least there's still a next 20 going for me. Well, that's not much of a page. And that's the end of it, except for the Pegua system, which I can't sell here because it's too close. Our balance isn't enough. Wow, I didn't make much credit trying to sell this stuff. Let's see what we can do. So, our main valuable component is the frame shift drive. Well, you definitely don't need the cargo rack for what we're doing. Do you have that scanner? Well, that's going too expensive. Uh, frame shift. Detailed service scanner. 250. Can't afford it. Fuel tank I'd like to keep. Let's see, if I downgrade as much as I'd hate to do it, I'll get I'll have enough cash. Let's downgrade my frameshift drive. Okay, and then replace cargo rack with detailed surface scanner. Honestly, maybe I should do some trading around here first. I don't know. Intermediate discovery scanner is way out, way out of my budget. There's an advanced discovery scanner available here too, but that's also obviously even more out of my budget, so... Not going very well here as far as picking up stuff. But how about power plants? Uh, we, we've been in power just no power plant mainly. I should upgrade that. We've been having a lot of heat issues and stuff like that. Guess I do have the cash for this one. Though this, yeah, th this will be good. Don't really care about our thrusters, honestly. Let me just check things out. Mm. Let's see, modules. Usage 73%. Yeah, okay, that's good. So it won't be as hot. What's that sound? Sounds like there's something really bad happening. Recharging. Okay, that's sort of a problem, isn't it? Is 
Does that indicate that there's something really horribly wrong, or is that just something natural that happens when you when you change your power supply? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Well, we're here. I made it in good time, but I need to think about whether I want to do some trading in order to uh, perhaps uh, upgrade my frameshift drive back to level A. Okay, thank you. That might or might not be helpful, shields being online. But uh, at least we got the detailed surface scanners so that when I go out to do my exploration, I will be... Why is... Hold on. Hello. Why is engine and weapon at 100% and uh, sis is like nada? I don't know if I like that or not. Anyway, I need to think about doing some trading perhaps to uh, get my better frame shift drive back. But I'll think about whether to do that next time or whether to just strike out exploring. Maybe the detailed surface scanner will get us better credits and we can just do some exploring nearby in order to make the credits to get my my frame shift drive back. Alright, so we will see about that. I also was hoping to be able to upgrade to the Cobra, but that is clearly not possible yet. Uh, it looks like uh, my funds from exploring have not been very good because I guess it's probably because I didn't have the detailed surface scanner. So we'll see about that in the next episode, how much better off in terms of credits I am now that I have the detailed surface scanner. Alright, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.